Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the uh, combined latest and with uh, latest from in uh, Angular. And this combined latest and with latest forms are the Rx, uh, Jx, uh, Js operator. And we could definitely use this in Angular. And I'm going to show you how it's been used and what is the advantage of this is been using it. Okay. So this is my project now. So I have this project called Toolsets. And in this project, I have the app component and in, this is my HTML file and I have wrote a couple of these CSS here and this is how it looks like at this time and I'm gonna write my the core uh, I'm gonna write the example for this to, uh, combine latest and with latest from to, uh, inside this uh, I'm not gonna going to create any uh, the component for this one I'm just gonna directly work in this main component because I just want to explain how this really work Okay, so the first thing, let me go to my app, the component.ts file, and I don't have anything here in ts file. I'm going to make this a little bigger, so as you guys can see, well, and I don't need this terminal here. So what I'm going to write it down here, the first thing is, let me create the uh, the array, array for uh, the list of the framework. Uh, so I'll just create as a as a, as a as a array type of any, and I'm gonna create a list of the framework here, such as React, right, or, or Angular. This is just dummy data, and 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 uh, could be anything. Spring Boot, or or could be anything, right? And or a, or Laravel, something, anything. So now here, this is the list of the framework which I have it here. Uh, Not sure why I close it. I want to get rid of this, but anyway, it's fine. Uh, I, I want to make some space here, but it's fine. Now I want I want to create another uh, array here. So this array is going to be the list of the the colors. Okay. So the first let me do as a, as a red here, and let me do as as a yellow, and let me do as this as as a blue. And that's it. I think that's good enough. So now what I'm going to do in HTML, I'm going to loop this uh, using the uh, select an option. Okay. So I'm going to create a select here. Oh, uh, I don't need anything name or anything for now. And I'm just going to create here the option. And in the option, I'm going to loop that guy. So basically, it's ng. Uh, sorry. Yep, it's ng4, and I need to loop that the two of the the array which I created. The first one is a framework, right? I miss n. Let n of framework, and and the value which I I will loop it is the n. And whenever this option has been select, okay. So this is the option here and I need to provide what's going to be my value here so the value is going to be the the n as well okay so this is my first uh, first uh, here as you guys can see select box and in the select box let me do as a label here uh, create as, as a framework I'm not gonna go worry about this CSS now so I'm just gonna write it down the uh, framework save it I did save it, but it doesn't show up. Let me uh, let me check why why this doesn't guy. Let me, let me do some print something here. Yep, it's there. Looks like the oh, I need to uh, I need to put outside of this. Uh, so now I can see the framework. Yeah, yeah, I need some padding here stuff, but it's fine. I don't want to worry about that stuff now. So this is one thing. The another one is I want is to colors. Okay, so I want the colors. So now it will give me the colors on the bottom there. Uh, not on the bottom, but in the same line. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about CSS. The first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a line break here. That's it. Uh, so now, so why I'm creating this too? Uh, two of this uh, select box is because I want to get the observable I want to get the observables from this one so how the latest I'm gonna go back to now the latest 
a combined lattice. So how the combined lattice works is basically whenever there is a two uh, or, uh, or or more than two or more than two of the observables, then you can combine all of these observables and you can get the data off from the observables. You can bind the data with the, using the combined latest. You can bind the data. So I want the, the a couple of the observables for this one. I mean, we can get the observable from from the many types. We can get from timer. Timer will also give you the observables. We can get from the HTTP client. The it it, it will provide you you the observable as well. Or or we can also use the uh, the event. Uh, from the event we can get the observables as well but we need to change a little bit here and i'm going to teach you how we can use a subject as well on this one because we're going to use a subject to change this event to the observable Ob subject will does that work so we don't have to do it i mean there is a in rxjx if you guys uh didn't know about there's a from event in rxjx we could use the from event as well in angular directly uh, on this from event what we can do is we can use the uh, document which we can get from angular and we can click function or on change functions we can get the uh, the subscribe here and we can get the observables from this one too as well but we could also use a subject but i'm going to show you how we can use a subject on this video because subject is really important in angular so it's better to know that how we can use a subject really well so what we're gonna do is uh, we have this uh, select here and we have another select here. So whenever this select is on change, right? On change, uh, on change, then I'm gonna create another function here on FW change, which is a framework change, right? And here I wanna send the event. Same thing with here. Uh, here I'm gonna change on color change, okay? So now we have a two event which we created and we want that event to be uh, initiated here as well. So I'm going to put that uh, the event here. The f this is my first event and I'm going to put the another theme is uh, the event here in the bottom. And here it's it's an event that what we got from our uh, the here from HTML and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the value of that event and from this event we can get it this uh, event dot tar tar target dot value this is a straight javascript uh, way to get the values from the event and we get the two value here i want to show you what value we got so whenever we change that framework then we should get the framework and whenever we change the color we should get the color so now let me change this to angular we got angular yellow we got yellow red right we got react spring boot laravel we got everything here looks good so far so now what we're going to use is we're going to bind this to uh make this as observables and we want to bind these two observables and we want to get combined data such as uh, if we click on react then we should able to get a react and a blue if we click on angular we should create the angular and the blue in one line if we click the yellow if we click yellow then we should get a yellow and angular and with the help of the latest uh, not this guy <laughs> combine this guy the combined latest we can easily can achieve it so i'm going to show you the trick how we can use that but the first thing we need to convert this uh, the event to observables and i'm going to use a subject for that one okay so let me use create a subject for that one so this is the subject which we i'm going to use it so this is going to be my fw right uh, uh maybe fw subject okay and it's going to be new subject subject of any oh I need to put it here any okay so this is my first subject and now let me create my another subject here as well the another subject is going to be color right color subject so now this is a two subject which I create so whenever we change this value we will get the uh, framework value right here and on this framework value what we can do is we can uh, create a next and in the next we can add a value now we create a uh, the value in a stream 
so in each and every of this line of the stream we will put this the value in the first we're gonna put the whatever he gonna change it we don't know what what he's gonna change it but whatever the user going to change it we're gonna put that in our uh, the subject and the next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exact same thing but we're gonna put that in the uh, the color subject so so now what will happen okay so we got the data in this two subject which is good we are we are uh, we are putting two of this but the good thing about the subject is we can able to make this subject to get as observables okay that's that's a good advantage of it and let me implement ng on in it here not ng on in it on in it okay now i need to import my the life cycles angular function which is ng on in it which i wanted so whenever it's been changes we put the value here but what if what happened if you put the value later on there so now we want to get this value in observables the combined value so we could use the uh this one with latest uh sorry combined latest okay so we're gonna use this combined latest so i'm gonna use this combined latest and of course i need to import this and make sure i'm importing this from uh rx js yep and in a combine we it takes the array now it takes the observable so the first we have a fw subject and we can use as observables okay and the second one is color subject and we can use this as observable as well so whenever this two is combined then we will get the value in a subject here okay so if i do console log and if i do here on, on the bottom i um, mean in console so let me see what happened if i change angular okay we got the angular but let me see where we got the angular from okay i don't want this so so now okay we use combine and now now let's try it out okay if i change to angular okay nothing happened here it is it happens but what happened if i change this to angular well nothing happened we know it if i change to spring boot nothing happened the reason behind is is this color does not have an observable now whenever we change it now this guy has a observables right so whenever we change it now or oh, what the subject will put the value inside in it and this we can turn the subject to observables easily but the, in a subject we will not get any value it so that's the reason we will not see it we whenever we change the first one we we can't say it because this guy is not even the uh, subject yet right this is just even now we are pushing a data using a next function in a subject so we see a laravel and yellow together if i change the blue then we'll see a blue together if i change the red then we'll see. now if i change this on the top then we will see it okay so this is how it works the combined latest but we have a couple of issue here it's not the issue with the combined latest combined latest was per work perfectly fine the issue with the subject because whenever we run this app at the first time the subject doesn't have any value right but there is another way what we can create is using a behavior subject so what behavior subject does it, it's required the value we need to provide at the beginning so the the default value is react and the right and we could provide this now whenever we change only one of this framework then we can still see a value because the colors already know that uh, this is the behavior uh, subject if i change angular we see angular red we see spring boot we see spring boot red now same thing and this is how this the combined latest uh, work guys and you guys already know now how the behaviors of the work as well and how important it is to use it in angular right so now the next let's go to the next one uh, the, the with the latest form how we can use the from the latest form so basically so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna sorry comment it out and I'm gonna use the behavior one 
okay so we need to use this with using the pipe and inside the this is the uh, framework subject guys the first one this guy right so whenever the framework subject will change right the first one so now what happened is we will create a pipe for uh, the another one called with latest from so with uh, with latest from okay and we need to import this from rxjs operator because this is the rxjs operator okay uh, with the okay yep with latest with latest from okay so with latest from will check the another uh, the argument here uh, the parameter and we need to provide the observables so what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide our the second uh, observables uh, of course from the color subject and we can do our subscribe now and I'm gonna show you how it really does okay I just console log on now let me check So whenever we change it, it work. But whenever we change in the bottom, it doesn't work. So this is how this uh, with latest form works. So that means the, the this is called master. Let, let me call a parent. Whenever the this is not uh, kind of like parent, right? Whenever we we put the parent and we want to get the the value from this one, which is the parent from React then we want to get some other values as well. So this is the first observable. We are trying to get the data. If we didn't even use this pipe as all, well, then of course we will directly get only uh, the first framework data, right? So if I change this, something called Angular, we just get Angular. Spring Boot, we just get Spring Boot. But let's assume we want to bind this data so somewhere else and we want to get that value as well. Then how we can use it and if that should be observable of course and that of course we could get the pipe and with the latest from just provide the value that is coming from that one so if i provide this value we can of course put this color subject here also as well instead of this and put this uh, framework subject here just to make as opposite i mean if we want this color that comes with this then if i change it now angular it bring more data it bring i told them that give me some more data on it and that's how this with the latest from operator works guys and this is how the combined latest work in a bonus of course the how i also show you how this behavior subject works and subject works really well with the events and that's all for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new and please uh, do subscribe my channels i'm gonna uh, uh, i'm gonna mo record on more uh, programming tricks tips videos on this channel as you guys can know and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now cheers